Hey everybody, it's Nanda here with Mama's Lunch and Matt Fitness Rant. And honestly, I can say that I was going to do a video tonight. Um, I was going to do a video tonight on weight loss and motivation. And I'm probably going to do that too, but I need to make this video. It's something that I need to say. Um, this video is basically, as you can see in the title, it's going to be um, surrounding basically my new views that I have on the conscious community and why I can't fuck with you at this point in my life. Um, I have been going through this conscious shit, um, this experiment and finding out all types of things that I can as much information as I can for debates, as much information as I can for the debate within myself. Um, and at the end of the day, I've still found there are really no clear answers spiritually there are no clear answers it's all matters of faith you know that means for the most part you're either walking on what somebody else told you either walking on what somebody else showed you and told you what it meant like so there's no real set clear answers and everybody's just going back and forth i feel like a lot of you motherfuckers at this point wake up mad because it's fucking tuesday like, and I'm not even kidding, like, you wake up mad because you got something negative to say about everything. And I've said it before to people in my life, if you look for the bad, you will most surely find it. Even in God himself, itself, herself, you will surely find it if you're looking for the bad and everything. But I think more belief system, ancient Kemet. Um, the Bible, whatever you believe in, there's good in everything around us. It's just what most people are deciding to look at. Um, too much knowledge can do one of one of three things. It can enlighten you. That's where you enlighten you, as in put light in you. Um, that's when you find the good in everything that you're finding and you find the use for it. If you have all this knowledge, but you don't have any use for it, what's the fucking point of having it? And I think a lot of people misplace the use for it because they focus on things that are going out, going on outside of themselves. They're focusing on the battle instead of the war because there's a war going on in each and every one of us, point blank, period. If you're one of those negative people that's still finding the negative in everything, yeah, you need to focus. You definitely need to focus with them because when you fix yourself, you... You, it, 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 it will basically affect everything outside of you. You won't even have to help people fix themselves and help people or help fix anything around you. Everything positive will radiate from you, point blank, period. And I think that's what I got off this whole journey, honestly, um, for the past five years. That's what I got. It might be shallow, but that's what I got. Um, I also think that some people... You know, I just spoke of the fact that knowledge is meant to basically enlighten you as in put light in you. Um, but I think with some people, what it can do is it can actually dim them out. Like they're constantly learning, 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 learning. But while they're learning, they're not taking the time to figure out, okay, I learned this set of information. What the fuck do I do with this? What do I do with this for myself? How can I use this in my life? How can I use this to better me as a person? Instead of doing that, they get on this subject and they jump on the next and they jump on the next. Now they have all this useless information that's just clouding up their brain and all this extra energy that's not being used or not being used properly or not being used productively. And I think that's what a majority of you are, are doing. And, you know, I say, I did say one of three things. The next thing you can, the next thing that having too much information can do is it can actually drive you crazy. You can become, become paranoid because you don't have all the answers. You're continuously looking for all the answers because us as humans, we cannot accept not having all of the answers for some reason. We cannot accept not having the stability of having answers that we're not supposed to have right now because we're supposed to go through this life, through this maze, through through all of this shit for something, but we're trying to rush it and get there, like right now, right now, right now. It might be the end of times, might be the signs of the end of times, I don't know, when people trying to hurry up. But either way, just chill out, man, and stop focusing so much outside of yourself. 
Stop focusing so much on what the white crackers are doing. Stop focusing so much on what the government is doing. Stop focusing. I'm not saying this shit is important. Okay? So I want I want to make that clear. I'm not saying that this shit isn't important. But compared to the war, it's a battle. And until you until you honestly handle yourself, you cannot fix shit outside of you. I don't I don't I don't feel like you can. And stop waking up so fucking angry all the time. Stop looking for the bad in everything. Oh my gosh. Am I the only one throughout this whole journey that has basically learned to look for the good and shit? Because looking for the bad and shit doesn't do shit but basically dim you out. You're gonna find bad shit everywhere. You're going to start finding bad shit in your life because you know why? You're focusing in on that. That's what you're looking for. That's what you're drawing to yourself. So at this point, all of this dam- damaged black woman goods and Hebrew versus uh, uh, Kemet, whatever, I just, I can't, I can't right now. I can't with this shit because I think it's bullshit. Nobody is really teaching the people to look within. Nobody is really teaching the people how to... F- the 13th son is, and a couple of people are coming down on him, but at least he's one of the people who are trying to teach the people how to fight the war within before worrying about petty-ass battles. And like I said, this shit, it does. let me say this clear before I get these dumbass comments. The battle does matter. What's going on, what people are doing to black people, what people are doing to people, period. Yes, it does matter, but... Compared to what's going on within you, it's a distraction. Now, just think about that.